Hello everyone, and welcome to another Creepy Uploads video. This is the third part in my series, which focuses around myths, curses, and cryptids rumored to inhabit the English Isle. If you're new here, consider liking and subscribing. Today's episode is on the Kelpie. The Kelpie are a race of shape-shifting spirits rumored to inhabit Scotland, mostly found near rivers, lakes, streams, and lochs. The Kelpie will typically take on either one of two forms, the first being most notable and most memorable form, that of a horse. We will cover this form today, but in future we may touch on the human form a little bit closer. The Kelpie, when in its horse state, will often be found very close to water and are incredibly enticing for children to ride. The problem, however, is that the Kelpie is not like a normal horse. It's fair to say that a normal horse's kick is more than capable of killing a person, especially a child or the elderly, with the force of almost one ton per square inch. It's not the best way to go, but it is possible to survive this ordeal if you can dodge quick enough, or if the horse is small enough. Point is, a horse attack could be survived, and a lot of horse owners often have stories about them being kicked by their horses, or at least being bucked off when the horse just isn't feeling it. This is where the Kelpie is different. If you ever get into a fight with the Kelpie, the chances of surviving are very slim. You likely have better chances of surviving a shark attack while wearing arm floats made of Kobe steak. Like I said, the Kelpie is incredibly inviting and on a nice hot summer's day, children seem to love getting up to mischief. Any child that touches the horse, let alone tries to ride it, will soon realize that unlike a regular horse which has soft fur, this beast has fur, which is incredibly sticky, and not too dissimilar from those glue mouse traps that you see particularly cruel people use to rid their home of pests. Once you're stuck, there's no coming unstuck. Trying to free yourself could result in a beast getting more of your body to touch it, getting you that much more stuck. Once the beast is entirely satisfied that you cannot possibly escape from the deathly grip that you have just entered, it will make a sprint for the nearest water source. Sometimes they'll sprint, other times, They'll just walk slow, just to torment you even more. You may think that drowning is a horrendous way to go, but that's not typically how all of these encounters go. It is said in some accounts that once underwater, the beast shapeshifts once again into a sort of mermaid horse version of itself. Once this is done, it will simply just swing its mane around and begin to rip chunks from your flesh. You'll feel the warm blood leave your body and the air escaping your lungs. Likely shock will have set in by this point, so you hopefully wouldn't feel too much pain but likely you wouldn't feel any hope either. It is rumored that the Kelpie does have one weakness if you ever feel yourself on a horse that seems a little bit sticky. In some legends, Kelpies are rumored to have a bridle around their faces, possibly to add to the realism of this just being a regular tamed horse. Getting control of the bridle will allow you to gain full control of the beast, turning it from a beast hellbent on your demise into a tool to be reckoned with. This beast was rumored to have the strength of 10 ordinary horses and the stamina of many, many more. On top of the bridle weakness, Kelpies are also regarded to have the same weakness as werewolves in that they are very easily defeated by silver bullets. Doing so will render the beast into a strange gelatinous substance. In the book, More West Highland Tales, a story tells of how a blacksmith from Rase had lost a daughter to a Kelpie, which would not stop tormenting his family either. Local legends told of how the smell of roasted meat was irresistible to the beast. Wanting revenge, the blacksmith began to roast a whole sheep by the water's edge. While the sheep roasted on the flames, he and his son had taken two hooks and heated them on the fire until they began to glow red. After some time, a great mist rose from the water and seized the sheep, but before it could get away, the two men had rammed the hooks into its sides and, after a struggle, they had managed to slay the beast. In the morning, the same gelatinous substance was all that remained of the Kelpie. Some argue that the Loch Ness Monster is actually just a Kelpie in the waters, waiting for a victim to drag down to the depths and consume. That's the story of the Kelpie, native to Scotland, but straight from a horror story. Hey, what's going on guys? I just want to say thank you, um, we've just reached the 5 subscriber mark. I just want to say that that's actually more than I was expecting. Um, this is the third story in the installment, as I said, but I may start looking into branching out into other stories very soon. Um, I just want to say thank you for your staying and uh, consider liking and subscribing. Until next time, stay, stay creepy. creepy.